back to Hey Hey, it's Saturday, folks, live from South Australia. We're going to see some South Australian mediocrity now on Red Faces with your host, Black Bar. <laughs> They, they, it never happened in the old west, did it? You know, yeah. they, they could wear them down here and look really good, but it just all it does for me, it restricts me. You know? <laughs> I think you need bigger chaps. No. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually the uh, it's the boots that are really the they're, they're so they're, I mean they're so new, but they're so stiff. Oh boy, hang on, I'll just rip them up. <laughs> in, in some parts of San Francisco, you'd look just like a bank teller, Daryl. <laughs> I look like a, a fifth of um, village people, don't I? Or what, sixth or whatever. Um, all right, here we go. This is Red Faces, of course. I don't think we... any of you have both oars in the water. That was one of the village people. Um, well, uh, so there, yeah. Uh, uh, we combed the length and breadth of Adelaide, and we found this first act in the cowlick. And they are uh, smiling judges. <laughs> The judges. Oh, oh man! Why did you do that to me? He knocked the gong over. Sorry, Daryl. The uh, the size of the gong is obviously commensurate with the quality of the acts tonight. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. There are the judges. Now on to <laughs> Peter O'Brien. Welcome, Peter O'Brien. Yeah. Yeah. Formerly, of course, of uh, Neighbours, but now in Flying Doctors. And right. what did you say you're doing this week? Trying to brand... <laughs> branding, are you? Roping calves, yeah. W w wipe wiping calves? <laughs> Roping calves. R Roping calves. <laughs> oh, that's better than wiping calves. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate job for you. Although, I guess you've got to start at the bottom in this industry. Um, Jane? Yes. Clifton! <laughs> Jane, what have you been roping? I've roped nothing. No, nothing what have you, at all in my life. And, and what have you been doing recently? We haven't what? seen you for a little while. No, you haven't. I'm singing a bit at the moment. I've got a band on in Melbourne. Uh, a couple jazz of times a week. Pop, jazz band, yeah, down at the Middle Park on Wednesdays. R <laughs> River, River Park. Middle Park. Middle Park. Middle Middle Park. Park. I can't hear over here. I'm can't sorry. I no, can't no, hear. no, no. I just love the radio program, Jane. It's going really well. I oh, listen every thanks. night. <laughs> Is that a new joke or are you actually doing radio? No, no. I, I went out in the wash but didn't come back in like some of us. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's not my fault. Um, and of course, Red. Okay, let's. Um... <laughs> uh, the applause light. It, it didn't light up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how's the single. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're going to do that every week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, anyway, you're well and fit and uh, you've had a good week. There you go. Oh, don't. Go. Oh, he's spitting. <laughs> Always spitting his tummy. Look, on to Act One. Visual um, gags now, Red Heart. This is Smiling Bob McCreevis. McCreevis or McCreevis? Uh, well, he knows. That's the main thing. My, smiling Rob McCreevis? McCreevis. No, that's my young brother. I'm Pat McCreevis. Oh, Pat, how are you? Carol Summers, pleased to meet you. Um, well, like. Where's uh, Bob? Um, he's coming out, is he? No, he's in Wilcannia. He's in which? Wilcannia at the weekend. Bob, oh, he couldn't make it. Well, that's a bit of a shame, actually. <laughs> you oh, you're, you're going to do the... Well, I'll do it all. He's got a touch we... of the Ernie singers. All right, he's doing it all. <laughs> he's doing it all. Smiling Pat. Hmm? Pat McCrevice. McCrevice. Pat McCrevice. Here he is. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> you don't know any Skyhook songs, don't you? Well, listen. Um, it's all right. Listen. Neither does Red. <laughs> True. Well, you were getting to the big bit there. That was my big bit, the Charlie Daniels bit. Oh, just do that bit. Yeah, go on. <laughs> next year, next year.
Yeah, oh, apart from here, I play in a, a local rock band. Called do you get Liverpool. moved on a lot? Oh, do you really? <laughs> How many in the group? Four. Four. <laughs> Actually, do they all play as many instruments as you do. <laughs> um, no, nah, the other guy just plays guitars and oh, bass right. and stuff like that. And you, yeah, oh, that's great. And you got a, you got a, dr a drummer. Uh, yeah, I play drums. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, I noticed actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. Let's get a let's get a score from uh, Peter first of all. Out of ten, make it uh, um, fairly legit, Pete. You know. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks a lot for starting me off. I can that's... see a big career for you in doing those uh, Christian television ads. Remember that bloke that was doing it? <laughs> oh yeah. Evie yeah. Tongue Twister. At least you'll be cheap to book anyway. Um, uh, it's a five hey, out of ten. Mr. O'Brien. Yes. Yeah. Mr. O'Brien, is it true you're in the uh, Flying Doctors now? Yeah, that's right. And Nicky. you play the pilot, right? Yeah, yeah. You've been in, in, into any low dives lately? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Meanwhile, back in the centre stage, uh, Bob is having a chat with Daryl. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's the band I play in, the guys oh, yeah. from Jim Barnes' band. They oh, yeah. This is, this is called Putting the Word on the Compare. <laughs> How do you think it's going so far, John? Oh, I think it's going uh, very well, Oz. Jimmy Bunce isn't going, it's good. No, Jim's not. It's amazing. I mean, <laughs> Pat's been waiting for this opportunity for years. Oh, yes, yes. And he's making every post a winner, right, and right. so he should too. Yeah, so yeah, what time are you going back on, John? Uh, I think I'll catch the 10 o'clock up. Oh, well, I'll go with you. Yeah, like meatloaf Sorry. through a straw. <laughs> so are the days of our lives. Sorry, no, we've just... This we've is, just uh, Pat was just inviting us out to a bit of a, a, a bit of a jam or party. Drink. Oh, we're pretty right, drink. thanks, Pat. Oh, but, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, listen, that's a good score overall. You scored. Oh, it's only five. <laughs> 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 so, Jane. I thought you were fantastic. What a wonderful interpretation of one of my favourite old tunes. Thank you. Seven. It's a seven out of ten. Oh, well, she's sincere. Now, yeah. <laughs> this is where you get yours. Well, Adelaide has been the. Um, Nurturing place of many great talents, Glenn Shorrock, John Swan, Jimmy Barnes, Ernie Sigley. <laughs> and there's no reason that any act from Adelaide ought to feel an inferiority complex about what they do because there are acts just as bad as yours everywhere else. If you move over there, we'll find out uh, if anyone gets near 13, which is a great school. <laughs> uh, we don't take a break, we'll keep plowing on, hey? All right, Archie and Ralph. Archie and Ralph, and here they are. I don't know what they do. Here they are. Well, look out. Here comes the pride from Bulls Gap, Tennessee. We couldn't have a show without Mr. Archie Campbell. So let's welcome Archie Campbell. Well, thank you very much, Ralph, for them kind words. Well, it's good to see you again, Arch, and it's good to have you here on Hey Hey at Saturday. And tell me, how's things in Bulls Gap? Well, uh, I wish I could laugh a little more, but I gotta tell you, I'm feeling pretty bad. I guess you heard my great uncle die. Oh, Arch, that's bad. No, that's good. Oh, that's good? Yeah, you see, I was his favorite nephew, and when he died, he left me $50,000. Oh, well, that is good, Arch. No, that's bad, Ralph. That's bad. Yeah, well, you see, the income tax people got a hold of that 50000 I didn't have, but 25000 left. Oh, Arch, they'll do it every time. That is bad. No, that's good. Well, that's good? Yeah, you see, I still had enough to do something I wanted to always do, so I took that 25000 bought myself an airplane, and learned to fly. Oh, well, that's good, Arch. It sounds <laughs> like joke. you really Good enjoyed joke. that. No, that's bad, Ralph. That's bad? Yeah, you see, I was out flying this plane one day, doing a little stunt flying, you know? Flying upside down, I fell out of that thing. You fell out? Oh, yes. that is bad, Arch. Oh, that is bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, I know you were just, uh, you were just actually with a good bad routine. It was, I know it was, it was building up really well there. Um, and uh, was, do you want to get, actually get to the tag real quick, or do you want to not bother about it now? Because technically you've been gone, but I thought if you really had a rip or a tag, we'd take it. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah. Yep. Okay, it's a good tag. Yeah. It's a good tag. Red, yeah. red. These... Yeah. 
Can I give them a go? They've kicked on since deliverance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, I was out flying that plane one day, doing a little stunt flying, oh. Flying upside down, and I fell out of that thing. Oh, gosh, that's bad. No, that's good. Well, that's good? Yeah, you see, I got a little closer to the ground, had a look underneath, there was a nice big soft haystack. Well, that's good. So everything worked out fine, Arch. No, well, that's bad, Ralph. Well, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, you see, I got a little closer ground. I saw there's a pitchfork sticking out of that haystack. Aim right at me. A pitchfork? Well, yeah. look out. That is bad. No, well, that's good. Well, that's good. Yeah, you see, I missed the pitchfork. Oh, well, that is good. So everything worked out fine. No, well, that's bad. Well, that's bad. Yeah, I missed the haystack too. Oh, well, that is bad, Arch. No, well, that's good. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, you see, I uh, bounced around there for a while, and the ambulance came and took me to the hospital. Oh, that's everything good. worked out fine then. That Excuse is me. good. Yeah, no, that's bad. Well, that's bad. Yeah, you see, I, uh, hey, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> see, I got to the hospital and uh, this this girl taking care of me. I hope you washed your hands, thing. Red. I took a turn for the nurse. I fell in love with this nurse. You fell in love with the nurse? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, that's good. Going great, boys. Oh, is that it? Is that, is that uh, that? No, no. How long does it go on this routine? One more line. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One more line. That's all you get. One more line. Go for it. Yeah. Anyway, one day, my wife walked in. She saw me kissing this nurse, and she said to nah. me, if that's the way you're going to act, I'll just pack my clothes and go home to mama. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's good. Alright boys, let's get a score for the boys. Hey, Peter, Peter. Ah, uh, well, folks are dumb where I come from. It's a score of four out of ten. Uh, Jane. I say nothing. It's three. a three. <laughs> and Red. I know where you guys go for holidays. Maralinga, yeah? <laughs> it's two, and it's a total score of... Um, Not a lot. Not Nine. A lot. Nine. Nine. There you go, boys. Over there, thank you. And we'll be judging because you're not going to You're coming second. That's good. You're coming second. Over there. We'll take a break. Come back with Act 3, which is quite something. Now, we don't discriminate on red faces. Uh, we take fallout victims, meltdown victims. Welcome back to Red Faces. Part 2. Thank you for the phone calls, but we're going to continue with it anyway. Mike, what I was saying? I just think the whole show is like just deteriorating into sort of like a contest about like how to get your head on, you know? (laughs) 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 Act three is Jamie Richards. Jamie uh, is playing a lovely song. Beautiful, beautiful piece. It's the William Tell Overture. Act three, Jamie Richards. This date, 21st of the 11th. Oh, got 86th. another one, folks. 21st of the 11th, uh, Mildura. That's you. It is too. Oh. <laughs> My man's car. You're, it's, it's, your, it's your father's car, is it? <laughs> and there he was. Okay, that's myself with Tony Barber beside this man's father's car. What do you give that to, Peter? Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah. right. Sorry, no. What's his last name, Daryl? Right, okay, Act 3, Jamie Richards. William Tell, Overture. Wait for it. Here we are. Shh. Oh, shh. <laughs> okay, give him a go, he's using his dad's teeth, all right? <laughs> I'll start again for that. (laughs) We don't think there's any lead in his pencil. A big mouth. Are you calling him a big mouth? Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Peter O'Brien, what, what, uh, what do you think? Oh, well, for risking his you know, lead poisoning there, I've given him eight. <laughs> it's an eight out of ten. That's a great score. Great score Jane? Not only the lead poisoning, but a wonderful colour coordination between the jumper and what you were playing. It, it, this is our school jumper. It's pretty khaki, I know. But the Kumiela High School? I wish I hadn't hey, mentioned Kumiela the jumper. Kumiela's near Mildura. <laughs> oh, Kumiela's near Mildura. You've yeah. come all the way from Mildura and uh, you live in Victoria. No, I live in New South Wales. Over the border. Right. Oh, great. That's... Hey. I hope you get home safely. <laughs> uh, that's a seven from Jane and over to Red. Well, I didn't actually mind that. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> Five, it's a good score. I've had the score off 20 off ahead at the moment, Jamie. Thank you, over there, thank you. On to Act four, let's pick it up now. And Act four is um, Francis Greenslade. <laughs> and any moment I'm going to get Francis to come out here and... Is... <laughs> <laughs> Francis is doing a show at the Club Foot and called As Time Goes By. And here he is, Act 4, Francis Greenslade. Yeah? I think you're going to sing a song for you. For, first, I'm going to do some comic banter that I wrote down. For, first, gonna, what, what time is it when an elephant sits on your fence? What? Half past three, he said, sometimes come round quarter to four and sit on you. <laughs> why, why did the boy throw the clock out the window? Why did he? Because it was broken. He <laughs> Don't get it myself, but... Why, why did the re fireman wear red suspenders to keep his trousers up? <laughs> missed out the commons. <laughs> why, why do you never get hungry in the desert? Why, why don't you? Well, you do sometimes, but if, <laughs> if you've got water and sultanas and currents, you're right. For a few days, they come in the helicopter and take you to the press conference. <laughs> hey, 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 is, is that a gun in your pocket or, or is it a banana in, in your pocket? Which, which, my dog's got no nose. Pr pretty sad. I don't need any hecklers from you, mate. I've got lines written on a piece of paper for hecklers. You want to hear it? Shut up. <laughs> My dog's got no nose. Pretty sad, isn't it? Let's throw that one in. Sad one so that the next one seems funny. <laughs> just, just a gag. <laughs> going to sing a song going to sing my song now. It's my own composition. It's in D. Call it my decomposition. <laughs> it's a song about my, my favourite animals and there's a chorus. To everything, worms, worms, worms. My favourite animals are worms, worms, worms. Because there's millions of different types of them. Well, the seven. <laughs> the type that swims. The type that flies, the, the type that's wet, the type that isn't wet, the type that eats, the type that drinks, the type that doesn't smell, type, type that does smell. Went to the zoo the other day and I said to the keeper, where are the worms, worms, worms? Said, Thank you. They said to me, there aren't any, there, there are no Worms, worms, worms. And so I said to them, why not? Why aren't there any worms here? I said, they said, I said to them, they'd make you a big profit. They said to me, oh, 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 oh come off it. You can, you can milk a cow, you can milk a pig, you can't milk worms. Because they're too big. <laughs> I'm just going to finish off with another joke. Got a million of them here. Eh? I've got two. I've got two more jokes. What? Well, how can you tell when there's an elephant in your fridge? How can you? Well, there's a loud explosion and you run in the f kitchen and there's all this debris on the floor and a really guilty looking elephant. In the... <laughs> why, why did the leper... Why did... No. <laughs> Why did the leper? Why did the leper run away from the party? Why? Why? 
Why, why, why did he? Why? Because I said to him, rack off, leper boy, we don't want you to party. <laughs> Oh, there are no bookings as yet. Eh? No bookings as no yet. No bookings as but yet. But there will be soon, I'm sure. It's called this time. It's time it hasn't to... started yet. Oh, it hasn't started? It starts on Wednesday. Oh, right. I thought it was a bad show or something. But no, it hasn't. It starts on Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday. And how, how long does it go? Um, two hours. One hour and a half. Yes, but how long does the season go? It goes for three weeks. Three weeks? Wednesday to Saturday. Terrific. Are, is it a one out? Are you a one out? No, there are three of us. Oh, three out. Oh, good. Three All right. I'll hope you get in. Um, Peter. Yeah. What are the other two doing in the show? They are they uh, like a girl and a guy, or no? Uh, two men. Two, two men. Two men. What do they do in the show? They play the guitars as well. Oh, do they? Me. Are they as good as you on guitar? They're not as good as me. <laughs> uh, Jane. What can I say? Great. Terrific. It's a great score so far, and we haven't even got red score. Uh, you are technically you're a point five behind our leader. Uh, you are the last act, of course, and uh, it's up to Redmond now. You mean I can still rub him out? <laughs> oh, now, now. <laughs> <laughs> Put it there. That's good. Good luck with the show when it starts. And it's at, it's at the club foot, and it starts next Wednesday. Thir- next Wednesday. Wednesday at the club foot, and it's called As Time Goes By. Go along and see Francis and the uh, the other boy and the, uh, the two boys. Two boys. Right, who don't play guitar very well. And we thank uh, Peter O'Brien. Thanks for flying over for this, Peter. And of good course. luck with Flying Doctors. Have, when, are your, when, when are you seeing in Flying Doctors? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh... All right, Jane, when are you seeing in Flying Doctors? <laughs> oh, soon, soon. All right, uh-huh. Red? <laughs> I actually broke his back in Neighbours. Yeah. I finished his swimming career. Yeah, he did. Did you? Yeah. Oh, you had one of those CD parts you always get. <laughs> yeah, you never but get got, any good... But I got his wife. Yeah. All right, well, thank you all for being with us. <laughs>